drop a like in the next 5 seconds or all your skins will be vaulted. Save your locker and drop a like. I just finished a massive gifting spree. I sent a ton of my subscribers the new item shop cosmetics. From now on, I'll be showing you all the gifts that I sent. Now, if you also want to have a chance of getting a free gift from me, then all you have to do is first of all, subscribe to my channel from there, drop a like on this video and also make sure to leave a comment down below telling me your Epic Games username. This way, I can add you. But with all that being said, let's begin with today's video. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. And in this video, I'll be showing you everything about Chapter 2 Season 3 in Fortnite Battle Royale. I pretty much have all the leaks, information, and much more. Now, real quick, we're so close to 3.9 million subscribers. So if you hit the subscribe button right now, you can be my 3,900,000th subscriber. And also, a huge shout out to everyone who is using code SHUFFLEGAMER in the item shop. If you do use the code, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section by saying I used your code and will give your comment a heart. Thanks to Epic Games for allowing me in their program. Now, with all that said, let's actually start with the video. Last night over at the Port Royale, LTM, a secret live event, took place. It was another music concert, but this time with DJ Diplo and Major Laser. They were playing a 20-minute live DJ set over at the main stage. It was pretty cool, but keep in mind it was only for a test event. Very soon, a lot more of these live events will be coming to the main stage over at the Party Royale LTM. And when the official premiere takes place for this LTM, everyone will be able to unlock this back bling for completely free. When unlocking it, it will say, celebrate Party Royale's premiere with the music reactive Neon Wings back bling. Get the party started. So, it is called the Neon Wings back bling. And this back bling is from Epic Rarity. As you can see, it reads, glow above and beyond. Here is what it looks like in your locker. And here's a clip of what it looks like in game. Now, what if I tell you that today my game glitched out and it somehow gave me the doomsday event early. As you can see right here within my battle pass lobby, it shows these huge red wires. And they're actually powering up the doomsday device. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's start talking about season three. Just to let you all know, this season has been extended. When going over to the battle pass, it reads chapter two, season two through June the fourth. Now, Season 3 will actually be water-themed. We know this because in the most recent update, we have gotten our first official Season 3 teasers. In the game files, these posters can be found. And they are named S13 Poster Teasers. And S13, of course, stands for Season 13, which is the code name for the next season. This first image shows Age of Meowso standing in water while wearing rubber armbands. For the second one, we can see a house on top of a pool floaty, protecting it from the water. And this house is actually the blue house over at Salty Springs. And for this third and final image, we can see Peely swimming while a shark is about to eat him. And not only that, but the No Sweat Insurance logo can also be seen on all of these posters. And right now in game, you can actually find small bits of these posters. To find them, make your way over to the No Sweat Insurance building right over here at Lazy Lake. They can be found on the walls all around. By the way, a lot of people have been asking about the old map returning, but it looks like that is not going to happen. Epic Games actually plan on using the current Chapter 2 map until this Season 10. Now, I know the OG map was spotted during the Travis Scott event, but that was just there because of a reused texture. So, it turns out they weren't hinting at the OG map after all. Now, let's move on onto our next leak. Whenever we get a new season, it also brings us a brand new starter pack. Here is what the starter pack for Season 3 is going to look like. As you can see, it will give us a skin, a pickaxe, as well as 500 V-Bucks. And all items are from Rare Rarity and actually look amazing. From there, we have a couple of leaked Season 3 Battle Pass items. According to leakers, we're getting a female Black Knight skin. As you all know, Black Knight was the tier 70 skin back in the Chapter 1 Season 2 Battle Pass. Well, it turns out Epic Games is working on a female version of him. Here's a concept of what she might look like. Now, during Midas' cutscene within his agent room, you can find this one frame of a photo. And on this photo, we can see a mysterious woman by the name of the Engineer. And she will be our second leaked skin for the Season 3 Battle Pass. 
Next up, it is said we are getting a robot version of Meow Souls, just like we've seen with the robot version of Peely, or better known as P1000. And last but not least, there will be another secret Battle Pass skin, and this time it will be Aquaman, a DC Comics superhero. From there, in the Season 3 Battle Pass, we are receiving more customizable items. Remember how this season we unlocked Maya? Well, in Season 3, we are receiving a customizable glider. Here is what it looks like, and just like this season, we will unlock a bunch of customizable options for it by completing challenges. From there, we will be getting a new vehicle. This will be the shark vehicle. I am not sure how this is going to work, but since the map is getting flooded, a rideable shark does make sense. In Season 3, we will also receive a brand new weapon. This will be the flare gun, just like we can see from this teaser trailer right over here. Also, credit to Tabor Hill for these leaks, as he's the one that was given these leaks at first. Now, as promised, let me give you a quick update on this this season's storyline. In the storyline of this season, there's a war between two organizations, Ghost and Shadow. Throughout the season, you can constantly choose between the two of them. Now, while Ghost isn't really making any progress, Shadow is taking over more and more major locations. Ghost isn't really taking any action against this since Midas, the leader of Ghost, is working on his doomsday device. In Midas' room over at his desk, we can see an image of a girl that we have never seen before. On her t-shirt, we can find the logo of Shadow. Shadow, which seems weird, as Midas is the leader of Ghost. And after digging further into the files, we found out she is named the Engineer. Maybe she's the one who designed the Doomsday device. And Midas is secretly working together with her. Now, as you all know, Midas has the power to turn everything he touches into gold. But how did he get these powers? Well, let me explain. A couple of weeks ago, we received an update where the shark changed into a prison. This location is ruled by Ghost. In this prison, someone was able to escape. And this person has actually drawn a calendar. In fact, it is the calendar of March. On there, we can see a couple of interesting things. We can see a birthday cake on the 9th, a pizza on the 24th, as well as a marked period starting on the 25th until the 31st. And there's only one skin in the entire game that corresponds to these dates. And that is the Oro skin. The Oro skin was added to the item shop on the 25th and was last seen on the 31st. Now, why was Oro captured by Midas? Well, according to this page out of one of Midas's books, he needed Oro's pickaxe and so his power to activate the Doomsday device. As you can see from this page, it shows three drawings. A drawing of the Doomsday device, a drawing of the storm, and a drawing of Oro's pickaxe. This makes sense, since Oro's pickaxe can actually be found within Midas's agent room. And since Oro lost his power to turn everything he touches into gold, he now received this grey edit style. Now, when we take a close look at Midas's room, we can even see a couple of his own agents. But they turned into solid gold. Take Lynx, for example. Lynx was one of Midas' agents. However, she probably found out about Midas' secret doomsday device plans, leaving Midas with only one option behind, turning her into gold. Same goes for Agent Peely. And during his cutscene, we can see a bunch of other skins that Midas has taken care of. He turns their heads into solid gold and keeps them as trophies. From this wall, we can even see he took out Chaos Agent, the leader of Ghost. Now, around the agency, we can find these hatches. To be specific, five of them. A couple of weeks ago, they started to glow, and every single day, this glow becomes stronger and stronger. It is believed they are all directly connected to the Doomsday device, and after activation of the device, they will open. Here is what they look like from the inside. As of now, nothing really can be seen. Some people believe the Doomsday Device is going to get powered up by the use of the storm, just like how this page tells us. And coincidence or not, but within Midas' room, the Tempest skin can also be found, or better known as the King of the Storm. What if Midas uses the Tempest outfit to create the storm and uses the pickaxe to power up the Doomsday Device with the energy of the storm? Because if you didn't know yet, gold conducts electricity. Now, from there with a couple of other cool secrets, such as Midas's golden chair that can be found within this blue house over at Salty Springs, or a brand new team joining the fight. This organization is getting run by spies. With the latest update, this Hugo skin was added. And as you can see, he is part of the spy set. 
and on the shoulder, this logo can be seen. A logo of an organization that we've never seen before. What is their role within this storyline? And will they interfere with Midas' doomsday plans? I guess only time will tell. From there, we have a few unreleased skins as well as emotes. I will go ahead and play some gameplay of everything right now. Enjoy!